All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Community Focus here on Channel 6 TV. I'm Kenny Fogel. Glad to be with you tonight, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up this fall. Is there's always something to do in the Bardstown, Nelson County area, and i got Randy Mauser here with us. First of all, Randy, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And before we even get into what's coming up this fall, that's what's going on right now. And I know right now you're in a, with downtown Bardstown, Main Street, I believe it's called. So what, what's happening with your job here right now? Um, well, of course, our biggest fundraiser of the year is coming up in October. So that takes a lot of, you know, preparing time and, you know, months in advance. But the um, 39th annual Arts and Crafts Festival is uh -huh. coming up in October. So this money that you raise, what's it used for? I mean, once you get it, what do you do with it? Right. Basically, any of the events that we do throughout the year goes back into the Bartstown Main Street um, program so that we can continue to do these events year after year. Now, we get a lot of comments statewide mm -hmm. about the, the Main Street in Bartstown because you go to a lot of towns and you see the a lot of empty spaces and the towns are dying it's just yeah. simple as that there's no other way to say it and barstown's not barstown yeah. seems to be thriving downtown and uh that's it's not done that's not by accident right no and when i came on last year you know this is my first full year and i had to host our main street conference so i had about 50 other main streets from around the state of kentucky that came here to tour bardstown and surrounding areas and pretty much every single one of them said that Bardstown is the place to be. <laughs> and I have to agree, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to agree with them because, you know, we've, we've put a lot of, you know, pride into what we put downtown and how do we keep the beautifications downtown. So I can see why we're one of the best. Well, it's clean. It's no mm -hmm. broken windows. And obviously, it's in the historic district, so right. that that takes on an even a mm -hmm. more of a an issue sometime obviously right. uh, you can't you can't just go down there and change stuff and, uh, that you right. want to change and so uh, that that keeps it in, in a way somewhat under uh, right. uh, paying attention it, it, paying makes atten us, it makes us stand out a little bit more i think you know a lot of times people don't technically like the strict rules that our historic downtown you know has but when you go and visit other towns that don't have those specific mm -hmm. guidelines, you can see a big difference. Right. So I'm a huge fan of us keeping the historic look of downtown. Well, speaking of something with strict rules, you mentioned it a minute ago, the Arts and Crafts Festival. It's not easy to get in the Arts and Crafts Festival. I mean, it, uh, this is not just uh, everybody. It's not a huge flea market or uh, right. or some place for somebody's just trying to clean out their garage. I mean, right. it, this is some top-notch stuff. It is, and we have a, a committee that meets Early on, we meet about once a month, mm -hmm. and our applications typically start in March. So you'd think that's you know pretty far in advance, but that's usually when they open up. So for people to for next year, but you know we have a jury that sits down and we go through every single one individually, and we're also mindful of making sure that we don't have too many of the same or similar types of booths. Yeah. So you know for example, there's a lot of people that do like woodworking and do like bourbon barrel type style furniture and stuff but we only a limit you know or allow a certain number of those mm -hmm. that we can spread out mm -hmm. so just because you may not have gotten in this year try again next year maybe a little earlier so that way you kind of you know get your spot in there early well, i've been to these type of festivals all over the state and uh this is one of the best there's no yeah. question and you block off i know at least three or four streets plus going back in the spalding hall area in mm -hmm. front of city hall i mean how many booths are you do you know you're having this year so last year when i came on board um we said i think we had about 280 booths mm -hmm. well this year we are extending it just a little bit because we have kind of combined with the rec center uh -huh. um they're doing some booths inside of the rec center that day so we've extended our booths up through the rec center parking lot so we're about 300 this year but we can't get any more unfortunately <laughs> so sorry for the ones that went in we cannot do any more <laughs> well and for the people that visit i mean i know it's a it's an all-day thing some people it's two days i know when my wife and i come she stops at every booth mm -hmm. and i don't I'm, I'm one of these that browse i can get through in a day but it usually right. takes her a couple of days to yeah. to look and it, and again it's not it is not second rate stuff. This stuff here is, is top stuff that you right. can find any that any major festival like this. Yeah, I mean, and that's something that we, you know, take into consideration. You know, we want to have people that have different items that you may not see every day. Now, don't get me wrong, we do have some small boutique type style, yeah. you know, as far as like retail. 
but we limit that to about 20 of those. Yeah. So basically all the rest are, you'll have about 20 different types of food vendors, and then the rest are all arts and crafts. And the food vendors are great. I, I, I do I do hit most of them. But the thing is, too, we're hitting in the middle of October when people are just now starting to think about their Christmas shopping. And, and you talk about unique. I mean, it's not like going to a box store or going anywhere else. The stuff that you buy here is not going to be replicated. And somebody said, well, I saw that at another place. You know, you're, it's usually one-of-a-kind stuff. Yeah, it is. A lot of the crafts that we do have, they are one-of-a-kind. And a lot of them are, you know, limited type like additions like you can only get it at the craft festival yeah. you won't be able to get it anywhere else so that makes us unique too and i think that's why our craft festival is one of the the nicer ones to come to so what days are we talking about now okay so it is um a two-day event it's on saturday october the 12th the time is from 10 a.m until 6 p.m and then on sunday the 13th from 10 a.m to 5 p.m okay. So basically, if somebody comes in, they, parking's always an issue because you, you have to, you might have to do a little bit of walking. I mean, so, so for anybody that, that, that doesn't like to walk, you might have to either get here early or right. something, but uh, parking is always an issue. In bar, but that's a good problem. It, it is. Yeah. I mean, we have, of course, the, the city parking lot, which is a free spot, mm -hmm. which is um, right downtown. And then, of course, you'll have some areas where they may be charging for a fundraiser. So some yeah. of the schools like St. Joe or... Yeah, um, I think at the Medica parking area, you might get charged five or so, you know, just okay. for a fundraiser. So it's support them. But yeah, I mean, you might have to walk a little bit, which you're going to be walking anyway. So what's another extra mile? It's a fall of the year. So the weather's usually pretty good. And we've had a few years where the weather, a little drizzly, a little off. But, you know, that's, that's part that's part of the charm of it. Because uh, if, you, if it's always perfect, you never appreciate the great days. You're right. I mean, you know, last year, you know, with it being my first year, I was like praying, please, you know, please have good weather weather um saturday of course was a little cold but it was okay and then you know we had some rain that came in on sunday but at one o'clock i mean it was the prettiest yeah. day ever so you know you just never know now you know so what is, is there anything i'm leaving out that you, you want to make yeah, sure i about? do want to uh, mention that we have some pretty cool entertainment that uh -huh. goes on okay. throughout both days so starting uh, pretty much at 10 30 we have channel six live they're doing their live show we have a solo artist called Michael Jacobs. He's one of, um, I think he lives in Nashville. He's done some tours around town, so he's going to be really good. Carly Moffa, who is someone who's been to the festival for the last several years. Um, she was on, I believe, American Idol, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah, I remember her name. Yeah. And then we have Miss Layla Spring, which, of course, everybody knows her. Yeah. Cute little thing coming from Springfield. <laughs> she was on American Idol also. Yeah. So she'll be here from 3.30 until 5.00. And then we are bringing the cloggers back. They'll be up by Haydorns from 11 to 1 on Saturday. So then on Sunday, we will have Giants Across the Water starting us off at 1130. And then Dance Pros, for everyone that loves to come out and see these cute little girls dance, they will be here from 2 to 3. And they're moving this year. We have moved them from the normal location on the road up to the stage area, okay. which is up on the Spotting Hall lawn which is where all the entertainment yeah. will be. And then ending the um, day will be Bluegrass 101 okay. at 3 o'clock. Well, it sounds like if somebody can't find something to do, uh, they're not looking. Right. <laughs> and then, you know, of course, the, the Rotary helps us out with the Spirit Garden. So, you know, if anyone wants to come, right. get you some food, sit down, have a drink, listen to some entertainment, it's all right there together. And they say there's nothing to do. So there's always uh, there's always something to do in Barstown. So, again, yeah. well, Randy, I appreciate you yeah. taking the time with us. I know you're extremely busy getting all this put together. Mm -hmm. But, uh Again, coming up again, what's the October? October 12th and 13th. 12th and 13th. Get that down there. And also, you know, just to let people know, too, make sure you come downtown and visit the shops because they're also going to have a lot of really nice things set out that day. Well, yeah, absolutely. And this is for part of the Main Street Barge Town. Mm -hmm. So obviously everybody wants to be involved. And that's what it's all about is, is saving the Main Street. We want to we want this Main Street to look good for our next generation yes. and the generation to follow. And uh, it's people like you and people that are, are working at this every day to make sure that happens so thank you very much so yeah. appreciate you allowing us in yeah. today and uh and best to look on the weather and all that good stuff yeah. all right randy mouser here with the barstown main street and barstown arts and crafts festival coming up the 12th and 13th of october hope to see you there take care everybody this is kenny Vogel, channel 6 tv community focus